Stay Gurubi and Amaga children. Today we are going to learn the continuation of exercise 16.3. Second question. A square garden with a side of 100 meter. A square garden with a side of 100 meter has a square swimming pool in the center with the side of length 28 meter. Calculate the area of the pool and the area of the garden around the pool. Okay. Here, swim, here garden in the shape of square. Okay. The side of a garden is 100 meter. In square all the sides are equal. Okay. And inside what is there in the center? We have the swimming pool. So it is also square shape. Okay. This side is 28 meter. All the sides are equal. Here also all the sides are equal. So we need to find out area of the pole. This area we need to find out as well as area of the garden around the pole. So this is the area of the garden around the pole. Okay, children. So, here the square garden is given. The side of a square garden is 100 meter. Okay. Then, and in center, we have the swimming pool. The side of a swimming pool is 28 meter. First, we need to find out area of the pool. Okay. So, this is the, this area we need to find out. So, the swimming pool in the shape of square. So, area of the square we need to find out. Okay, children. So, what is the formula, children? Area of a square, side into side, square unit. Very good, children. Next, we need to find out area of the garden around the pool. So, the yellow color I should have known, this area we need to find out. Okay. See here. First, we are going to find area of the pool. So, area of the pool equal to so swimming pool in the shape of square. So, area of the square side into side square unit. Okay. Here the side of your pool is 28 meter. So, 28 into 28. So, multiply this. 8 8s are 64. 4 remaining 6. 8 2s are 16. 16 plus 6, 22. 2 8s are 16. 6 remaining 1. 2 2s are 4. 4 plus 1, 5. So, 4, 8, 7. 784 meter square. This is area of the pool. Area of the pool equal to 784 meter square. Okay. Next we need to find out area of the garden around the pool. How do you find children? Can you think that? How do you find this? Because outer square, this is inner square is that. In between this path we need to find out. So, how do you find this? The total area of a garden minus area of the pool, we will get this portion. Okay children. 
So what is the formula we are going to use? Area of the garden area of the garden around the pool equal to area of the garden minus area of the pool. So, area of the pool, we know that 784 meters square. We need to find out area of the garden. So, garden in the shape of square. Okay. So, area of the square, we need to find out. What is the formula children? Area of the square? Side into side. Here, the side of the garden is 100 meters square. Okay. So, 100, sorry, 100 meter. Okay. So, 100 into 100 minus 784. Okay. So, 100 into 100, what you will get children? 10,000 minus 784. Now, subtract this. Ten thousand seven hundred and eighty four. Cancel this nine, 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 it becomes ten. Ten minus four, six, nine minus eight, one, nine minus seven, two, it's nine. So nine thousand two hundred and sixteen meters square. This is what is the answer? Area of the garden Area of the garden around the pool equal to 9200 and 16 meters square. You understand children? Okay children. See the next one. Third one. A rectangular garden. Garden in the shape of rectangle. 40 meter long and 32 meter wide. Okay. See the rectangle. Rectangular garden. Okay. So the length is 40 meter. Breadth is 32 meter. Okay. And next. It has two pathways that run perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular to each through its center. So, so pathway. One, this is one path. Okay, this is one way, this is another pathway. Okay, see here. This is one path. This one path. This one is another. This is another pathway. Okay. 
if each pathway has a width 1.5 meter so 1.5 meter the width is this distance is 1.5 here also 1.5 meter 1.5 meter and here also 1.5 meter okay the width is 1.5 meter so calculate the area of the garden without the pathways without the pathways means this we need to find out this area of the garden without the pathways we need to find out this one we need to find how do you find this children in the area of the garden minus area of the pathway you will get this result isn't it so first we need to find out area of the garden as well as area of the two pathways look at here here two pathways are there but in this case they are intersecting they are intersecting so we have to consider only one time in this square okay so we have to eliminate one time because while taking this area we are considering this and we are taking this pathway we are considering this so we are considering twice so we need to eliminate one square from this then only we will get the area of the two pathways okay children see here first you find out area of the garden okay solution so area of a garden equal to length into breadth square units because garden in the shape of rectangle so area of a rectangle equal to l into b okay here length is 40 and breadth is 32 okay now multiply is 10 you write 42 is 8 43 is 12 so 1280 meter square this is area of a garden area of a garden okay next we need to find out area of the two pathways okay so let us consider this is rectangle 1 this is rectangle 1 this portion is rectangle 1 and this portion is rectangle 2 and this is square this is square okay so we should add rectangle 1 and 2 and subtract the square so area of two pathways area of two pathways equal to area of rectangle 1 plus area of rectangle 2 minus area of a square okay so what is the formula children for finding the pathways area of a rectangle 1 plus area of rectangle 2 minus area of a square okay okay substitute here area of a rectangle what is the formula children l into b plus l into b minus area of a square side into side okay see here here first rectangle look at the first rectangle see the first rectangle this is the first rectangle what is the length children so this is the length of the rectangle this is the length of the rectangle okay see the figure here this is 40 means this line also 40 this line also 40 so this length of the rectangle is 40 meter and what is the breadth of the rectangle breadth of the rectangle is 1.5 meter okay so the rectangle 1 the length is 40 
length is 40, breadth is 1.5. Okay, plus see the rectangle 2. In rectangle 2, so this is the length. See here, this is the length. This is the length. Okay, and what is this? Length is 32 meter. So this also 32 meter. Okay, and what is the breadth here, children? Breadth is 1.5 meter. Okay, so 32 into 1.5. So, 32 into 1.5 minus side of a square. Look at here. Look at here. The side of a square. See, this is the side of a square. This is the side of a square. So, this is the side of a square. Okay. This is side of a square. This side is 1.5 meter. So, the side of a square is 1.5 meter. So, side into side. So, 1.5 into 1.5. Now, multiply this. 40 into 1.5. 4 5s are 0. You put it. 4 5s are 20. So, 0 remaining 2. 4 5s. 4 ones are 4. 4 plus 2. 6. So, write again. What you are getting? 600. Here one decimal is there. You just keep here. The 0 will be eliminated. So, 60. Plus 32 into 1.5. I will do the calculation here. 32 into 15. Except the decimal you first multiply. 5 2s are 10. 0 remaining 1. 5 3s are 15. 15 plus 1, 16. 1, 2 is 2, 1, 3 is 3, 0, 8, 4. So, here 1 decimals are there. So, what you will get children? 48 minus 15 into 15. Sorry, 1.5 into 1.5. What you will get? 2.25. Now, here 60 is there plus 48. 60 plus 48, what you will get children? 60 plus 48 will get 108 minus 2.25. Now subtract this 108.00 2.25. So borrow this 9 become 10. 10 minus 5, 5. 9 minus 2, 7. Point 7 minus 2, 5. 0, 1. So, what you are getting? 105 point 105 point 75 meter square. This is area of two pathways. Area of two pathways. Okay. Next, we need to find out area of the garden without the pathways. Without the pathways means we need to subtract the area of the pathway from the area of the garden. Okay. So, area of the garden, area of the garden without the Pathways equal to area of the garden, area of the garden minus area of two pathways. Okay, see children, area of the garden, what is the answer? 1280. Okay, 
1280 minus 105.75. So subtract this 1280.00 105.75 you can subtract the borrow 7 9 9 10 10 minus 5 5 9 minus 7 2 point 9 minus 5 4 7 2 minus 1 1 1 so what is the answer 1000 174.25 meter square. So, area of the garden, area of the garden without the pathways equal to Pathways equal to thousand hundred and seventy four point two five meter square. You understand, children? This is very important sum. Okay, children. So please revise it. Next fourth one. Fourth question. So, a rectangular garden is 70 meter long and 55 meter broad. Rectangular garden 70 meter long, 55 meter broad. A path 3 meter wide is to be built around it. So, outside they are building. Find the area of the path and cost of graveling it at the rate of rupees. 17 per meter square. 17 per meter square. First, we need to find out area of the path. Okay. See here. So, rectangular garden. The length is 70 meter. Breadth is 55 meter. And a path 3 meter wide. So here 3 meter by equal distance. Okay. So the wide is 3 meter. This is the path. Three meter. And this also. 3 meter. Okay. 3 meter. Also 3 meter. Is to build around it. Outside the building. Find the area of the path. So area of the path means this one we need to find out. This area we need to find out. So, how do you find area of the path children? So, we have to subtract area of the inner rectangle from the area of the outer rectangle. Okay. Because this is outer rectangle. This is a garden. Sorry, this is the garden. This is a garden. Okay. Area of the outer rectangle minus area of the garden. Okay. Or else you can take it as area of the inner rectangle. This is outer rectangle. This one represents inner rectangle. So, area of the path equal to area of the outer rectangle minus area of the inner rectangle.
okay so here the inner rectangle inner rectangle means garden the garden length and breadth is given but outer rectangle length and breadth we does not know that first we need to find out okay so outer rectangle length equal to see here this is the outer rectangle till this have it 70 then this wide we need to add both the sides wides are that this we need to add so 70 plus 6 we get 76 meter likewise breadth equal to see here till this from this 55 and this wide and this wide we need to add okay so 55 this area we are adding this area we are adding so from this this from this distance is 3 meter okay so 55 plus 6 will get 61 meter so outer rectangle length is 76 meter breadth is 61 meter okay so find out area of your path area of your path equal to area of outer rectangle minus area of inner rectangle what is inner rectangle children it is a garden okay inner rectangle So, area of the outer rectangle, so the formula is length into breadth. So, 76 into 61 minus inner rectangle, the length is 70, breadth is 55. So, 76 into 61, just multiply 76 into 61. 6, 7, 6, 6 are 36, remaining 3, 42, 42 plus 3, 45. So, 6. 13, 3 remaining 1, 6, 4. So, 4,636 minus 0, you write it. 7, 5 are 35, 5 remaining 3. 7, 5 are 35, 35 plus 3, 38. So, when we subtract this, what we will get children? 4,636 minus 3,850. So, 6. 5, 13, 13 minus 5, 8, 3, 15, 15 minus 8, 7. So, 786 meters square. This is area of a path. Next, we need to find out the cost. See the question, cost of graveling it at a rate of rupees 17 per meter square. Per meter square cost is 17 rupees. Okay, we need to find out the cost of the path. Okay, so cost of graveling per meter square equal to rupees. 17. So, cost of cost of graveling the path equal to 17 into the area of your path is 786. 786 into 17. Multiply this. 6, 7, 7, 42. 2 remaining 4. 
seven eights are fifty six. Fifty six plus four sixty. Zero remaining six. Seven seven are forty nine. Forty nine plus six fifty five. Let's multiply with the one. We get the same number. Two six thirteen. Thirty. So what you are getting? Thirteen thousand three hundred and sixty-two rupees. Thirteen thousand three hundred and sixty-two. So what is the answer, children? Cost of gravelling. The path. Path equal to rupees thirteen thousand three hundred and sixty-two. You understand, children? Thank you, children.